How is ambient occlusion better than actual ray tracing? Well, so the thing is, you're just, you're just not going to ray trace in in real time on like you know web based software, like things that have to run on mobile phones. You think you've got things like Unreal Engine and Unity, but even that only runs on you know an RTX graphics card, like a gaming computer. What I'm having to do is sort of reach things on the web. There's no support for like even web GPU yet for yeah. ray tracing now. There will be eventually support for WebGPU will eventually add an extension for ray tracing. So WebGPU is built on top of modern graphics APIs. OpenGL is 20 years old. It's kind of out of date, whereas now you have Metal, Vulkan, DirectX 12, and those have support even Metal on Mac and iOS. WebGPU is built on top of those to have a more modern version of accessing the hardware and making experiences that are that are visually better, but also just much more efficiently rendered. So the upside to that is that those underlying technologies do support ray tracing. So it's really only a matter of time until the browser vendors that make WebGPU expose an extension that allows you to do ray tracing when you have the hardware available.